Okay, let's talk about the pedal board here. I'm running a Telecaster through a twin reverb. This is my, my living room rig, which I know seems kind of ridiculous, but anyway, <coughs> here's what we have. This is called the Voodoo Labs Dingbat. Um, I think this is the large board or whatever, but what I have is I have these loopers. Basically, everything is, everything is fed uh, he, uh, to here. And, uh, and so let me just start off by describing the uh, signal path and why I've set this board up like it is. So the first thing is, is I have, uh, this is the clean. So anyway, that's clean. Um, the, the, the tuner is actually outside of the board. So it disables the entire board. Now, the wah is in the first section, but I'm going to bypass that for a minute. The second thing that I have, uh, first, first what I do is I turn on all of the pedals. All right, so they're all on. Now, the first thing that I have in the chain is the compressor. And I have that set on Unity Gain. So if you turn it on, it doesn't really jump up the volume very much. All right, turn, let's turn that off. Then the next thing I have is the full drive. And I set this so that it's pretty much like this. First, um, I'll turn. So here's nothing. Here's it's on. And if I really want to get some extra drive, then I I, I do have to hit up here. That's just the boost section of that, but I, I'll normally run it like that because I can just roll off a little bit of gain on the on the guitar, and I'll get a I'll get a clean sound. All right, this is the Green Rhino right here. comes on. All right, this is the Strymon Deco. And what this is, is a kind of a tape delay uh, effect. Next thing is the Deja Vibe. And I can give it more intensity. Give it maximum intensity. that as much okay here's 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 the carbon copy delay oh, let me hit a single note I'll go ahead and increase the mix so you can see what the setting is but I back it off so that it's more subtle and here's the DD7 and set on reverse delay um, and well I'll just hit a single note so you can see what's going on. Actually let me increase the amount of the effect. Let me just emphasize it for a moment. Now 
so let's talk about um, the, my theory behind it. First of all, just talk about the delay, why I do the two delays. What I, what I want is I want the delay that I have here. I, I want the, as the note decays, the reverse to be coming back at the same rate so that you hear sort of one seamless note. So if I hold it, and especially if I give it the, 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 the compressor, which also will help sustain the note. You get something that is better than that it you know it, that decays too fast for me. So really, what I'm looking for is I'm just looking for a sustain that is kind of clean. And if I add the two together, and they're a little bit out of phase with each other, then I really get a good, nice, long delay. Which when I write, when I add some drop, when I add some drive to it, if I, that, then if I add two drives together, I got two drives, two delays, and the compressor. Now I've got everything kind of in the chain. And you can just hear you can hear the sustain of a single note. You hear a little bit of the attack, but not really too much. some really crazy extra drive. If I throw in a lot more regeneration and get a lot more repeats, Basically, uh, normally the way I run things, I leave this off and I leave that off. So I'm just running the compressor and the full drive, and then I'm running the two delays. I'll leave the deco on, and that way I can play. Just, I can play rhythm. I can play rhythm. Without, without going to the pedal board, all I have to do is just uh, dry, increase the gain on the guitar. times when I want to really get, you know, a really cut through the mix, heavy lead tone, then I've got, oh, I got that. 
things I do have this little switch here uh, so that I can light up the pedal board in the dark then I have these larger buttons I have a larger button here and a larger button here and this is just because I need to be able to have quick I need to be able to hit those with my uh, foot you know on the fly and and you know hitting these little buttons. you'll see that I actually have the have the extra the barefoot buttons on here so that I can hit those but then I also have the extra large buttons just on the two that I really need because this is outside the chain. This is obviously right on the pedal. So th those, uh, I didn't demonstrate the the, uh, the wah because uh, that requires, you know, that I'd be able to put my foot and I've got this um, on a uh, table. But anyway, so there you have it.